Kempi, actually nickname. Uh, when I first started playing at the Broncos, I was a, um, let's just say, more on the feminine side of masculinity. Still masculine, but more on the feminine side. Soccer player, I played till I was 17. So let's just, I was in touch with my feelings, put it that way. So my name's Denon, obviously, uh, you know, make the connection to Denim. And uh, Stuart Kelly and a few of the other boys, Sammy Thiday, he still calls me it. Only the old school Broncos boys know this. I never really let the nickname continue, but yeah, my nickname was, my nickname was Skirt. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, no, no, actually no one really knows that. Um, uh, the, the new Broncos boys don't know that, but the old school Bronco boys, like Sean Berrigan's, Lockie yeah. would know it, uh, you know, Webkeys, Petros, like those old school guys, they would know it's Skirt, that I was this little skinny soccer player. I actually seen Wayne on the, the other day, yeah. and he, he, yeah, he gave me a good spray. He's like, man, you were never a footballer, but you did pretty good for a soccer player. <laughs> I was like, okay, sweet. <laughs> Ah, favourite film, I'm such a film buff. Obviously Gladiator's got to be there, but um, favourite film, Good Will Hunting, um, Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, love that movie. Uh, uh, watched the doco, the O.J. Uh, Simpson Made in America, amazing, ESPN, like, yeah. amazing. Like, it, it's the best documentary I've ever watched in my life. One of the best films I've ever watched, in, uh, like series, so it's a, a five-part series about an hour long, and, and you're thinking, how could you make a documentary, a five-part series, an hour long? But every like you've just got to watch it. It's unbelievable. Pizza. Second game, running out Gold Coast Titans versus Broncos, 2007, packed out stadium. I was running behind Stevie Michaels, and as I read, like, so the kickers run out, and everyone cheers, and it's the first chance that people get to see the players. And as I ran out, I kind of like tripped a little bit. And Stevie store it, and, I, and just, you start laughing. But that's probably the most embarrassing kind of moment. There was no, yeah, there's no real embarrassing moments on the field. Ah, man, probably veggies. Uh, Game of Thrones and House of Cards. Dance. because I haven't been on a holiday in years, like all I'm doing is working, but I uh, went to Hawaii, loved that. Yeah. But that's probably the only place I've ever had a holiday, I'm trying to think. Yeah, the only place I've ever gone for a holiday is Hawaii. It's a good destination to go. Oh, it was so beautiful, I got so fat, and just smashing energy <laughs> drinks and just eating absolute shit. I came back to the Broncos 2010, and, uh, and yeah, the trainer there, Dean Benton, he's like, what, have you eaten a sheep? What's going on? And I just, <laughs> Just fat and messy, but yeah, that, that went off pretty quick with the preseason of the Broncos. It was pretty hectic, so. Uh, well, see, I've never been into basketball. Uh, you know, obviously Michael Jordan with everything he represents, but then you've got the other side of that where everyone that's ever dealt with him has said he's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bad person. Yeah. And then you've got the other flip side of that, LeBron James on the field doesn't represent, as on the court doesn't represent that same unity that kind of Jordan did. But off the field, he's not as he's a pretty good guy, decent guy. So yeah, it's hard. I'm not a big fan of footy, uh, basketball. I don't, I don't really watch it, so I can't make an educated guess. But every, the impact that Jordan has had on the world, I would say, is more positive. So I go with Michael Jordan. Favorite guest? Oh, how dare you, sir? There's just been so many good guests. I'll never say a, a favorite guest. Um, most interesting story. One of the most interesting stories, obviously, Kevin Locke recently was was huge. To hear what he had been through and to what he had achieved is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, James Seguiaro was really uh, interesting. Um, Paul Gallen was good. He, it was, you know, I had this idea of Paul Gallen as a Queenslander, not a negative idea, but I just thought he was this rough, you know, kind of bloke or whatever. But he was a really good guy. You know, he actually Paul Gallen to come on the show. His uh, child was sick on the day and, you know, rushed her to hospital. She was in hospital today. He rushed around, did everything he could um, just to make it on the show. And I didn't know him for a bar of soap. So th those are some of the things that guys have done just to kind of help an ex-footy player out. Um, so that was something that kind of stuck with me. You know, this is Paul Gallen, one of the biggest names to ever play rugby league. You know, his kid's in hospital and he's coming to help a player out when she, you know, she's all sorted kind of thing. So, yeah, that was that was an impressive kind of thing. And that's that's the thing that a lot of people don't see. Like these guys, to help just a guy that they kind of knew or shook hands after a game, you know, Blake Austin, same situation. It was 10 o'clock at night. No, sorry, we had the interview at 8 o'clock. Went for nearly two hours, you know, all up. And at the end, I found out that his, you know, family was waiting in the car and he still had to drive back to Canberra. And I'd never even met the guy. And this is what he was willing to do 
for you know a fellow rugby league player, and he's his you know the episode got what 150,000, 200 views all up. So there's I mean there's so many stories. Michael Morgan, he was on his only three days off. Uh, North Queensland had their preseason, I think, and he had only three days off. He was on an island, um, you know, enjoying time with his friends. Left the island, caught a ferry, came back, come on the show. And then I offered to pay him a player's appearance, refused the money, and uh, yeah, like just things like that. This, some of the stuff the guys have done has been ridiculous.